Good morning, dragons. Today is Tuesday, September 22nd, 2020. It's an A day, and it's a great day to be a dragon. Please stand for the pledge to the American flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now for the pledge to the Texas flag. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Now for a moment of silence. Please remember to wear your mask at all times. You must cover your nose as well as your mouth. Beginning Monday, September 21st, the only entries that will be accessible during the school day are the main entrance, the E Hall entrance, the A Hall student parking lot entrance, and the new cafeteria entrance. All sophomores parking on campus must park in the band lot. Any vehicles parked next to the tennis court will ha find a warning sticker followed by a booting device. Do you need a quiet place to study or to make up a quiz or test? Please join us for extended day tutorials. We will be meeting in the lecture hall after school. Join the Carroll Investment Club. Students will join will gain insight into the world of investing. Join us Monday, September 28th to hear from a Raymond James Hedge Fund Managing Director. We will host the meeting from 4 to 4.30 over Zoom. Scan the QR code to join the meeting. Hola amigos, join the Spanish Club. The first meeting will be in room E111 on Wednesday, September 23rd. Everyone is welcome. Stuco presents Fall into Fall Week. Tomorrow's theme, dress for the decades. Wear your flashback clothes and dress from any decade of the past. Attention all freshmen. Freshman council meeting will be tomorrow, Wednesday, September 23rd at 7.30 in room B111. All freshmen are welcome. From the counseling office, no act of kindness, however small, is ever wasted. Suicide is the third leading cause of death among youth between ages 10 to 19 years old. 4,600 youth are lost to suicide each year. However, most suicides are preventable. Youth who are contemplating suicide frequently give warning signs of their distress. 7 out of 10 will tell a friend or give a warning sign that they are struggling, but many of their friends do not tell an adult. A Hope Squad is a group of students nominated by their peers as good listeners and caring fellow students. They work closely with the local mental health agency. Hope Squad students are taught by the school counselor and advisors on how to recognize suicide warning signs in their peers and provide support. Hope Squad members are trained on how to talk to a fellow struggling student. If the peer needs help, they listen and then try to convince them to go see an adult in the school. If that does not work, they inform a school counselor about their concerns about their peers, so the advisors can contact the student and the parents for additional help and support. Hope Squad members also bring suicide prevention awareness to the entire school by holding an annual Hope Week where fellow peers are given information about suicide prevention. For more information, please visit www.hopeforutah.com. At this time, we will be taking nominations for Hope Squad members. Please scan the Q QR code below and fill out the survey. Please pick someone that you think might be a good person to go to if you had a problem.
Have a great day, dragons.